Hello, Bill Gaines from Vanaman here. Today I want to show you all the parts of our sandblaster hand pieces and how to replace them. Here are the parts. The tubing, the handle, the handle insert, the o-ring, the tip, and the nozzle cap. We've got another video on how to safely remove the tubing from the rest of the sandblaster. Check the description below for the link to that video. Once you've got your handpiece and tubing free, you can take it apart. If you're just replacing the tip or an o-ring, you'll only need this first part. Unscrew the nozzle cap and that's it. Your tip and o-ring come right out. You can insert the new tip and the new o-ring behind it and screw the nozzle cap back on. If you're replacing tubing, there's a little more work, but just a little. To start, make sure the nozzle cap is removed. Then, hold onto the handle and push towards it with the tube. And the insert should come out. This is what holds your black tubing in place. Once you've separated the insert from the handle, you can pull that tubing out of the handle and you can gently pry the insert off the tubing. Make sure the end of your new tubing is cut at a 90 degree angle before you attach it to the insert. Pro tip, use some kind of lubricant on the end of the tube. A small amount of Windex, Simple Green, soapy water, etc. should do the trick. Then, push the tubing into the handpiece, insert as far as you can with your hands, then you'll want to tap on it more to really make sure the end of the tubing is flush with the edge of the handpiece insert. You don't want any leaks. It's really important to create a complete seal when you put it all back together. Slip the free end of the tubing back down through the handpiece handle and pull it taut to get that insert back in place. Once it's in, you can put the o-ring tip and cap back on. Then you can insert that tubing back in your blaster cabinet, if you've got a blaster with a cabinet, through the pinch valve casing, if you've got an instant off model, and back to the tank. And remember that when you put it back into the quick connect at the bottom of the tank, it needs to be pushed in beyond the o-ring. If you do have an instant off unit, remember that it's also important to move this tubing back and forth through the pinch valve casing pretty often because this is one of the greatest points of wear on your handpiece tubing. And that's it! If you've got any questions, you can email service at vanaman.com or call us at 760-723-1498.